Cobalt King calling headquarters. 1200, 4, 76, 12. Beginning descent, do you copy? Cobalt King calling headquarters. 1200, 4, 76, 12. Beginning descent, do you copy? Copy that, 1200. 4, 76, 12, Cobalt King. Navigation says we're on target above the city. Counter-gravity anticipated in three, two, one, and it's a go. Twenty-two, hit him hard. Cobalt King to the pack, two Marinsteins at 55. I'd rather not have to face them one-on-one. -on -one. Copy that, Cobalt King. 20 and 22. There are two Marinsteins at 55. No, 54. this floating fortress around a little. Bill with her. 22 reporting. 21 and 9 have got my back. We just see this match against the bridge wall. I'll have to make a contact. Don't you? Bill with her. 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 Affirmative 22. Time capsule active. Let's go. How it's done, fellas. and accounted for? Back. Close up and report. Cobalt King. Airspace in your zone is spick and span. Much obliged, Bellwether. Cobalt King to headquarters. 600. 4. 112. 12. In position. Half near to launch. Stop it, 112. 12. Cobalt King.
the fourth unity. Three bombs killed 664,000 Inkies that day. To the elated cries of nearly two billion citizens of the empire. But this is also where I lost my son. He was the pilot of the Cobalt King, the bomber that carried the fourth bomb, the one that never dropped. He did the unthinkable. Unprecedented in the history of military aviation, he ignored his orders. According to the news, the co-pilot buried a bullet in my son's brain that very instant. An Imperial father would have been shattered to hear of this treason and struck dumb with shame. Me, I'm just a collaborationist father, a secondary citizen who resembles an Imperial father only in grief. I have not torn my clothes from my body in mourning. I have not apologized for the actions of my progeny. I have sworn revenge. Monita Point. We call it the Eternal War, but to be realistic, the bombing of Mirage Mountain all but wiped our nation off the map. Since the war broke out, more than two million Enkis have vanished without a trace. Imperial stormtroopers and collaborationist headhunters dragged them away, women, men, and children alike. The way we figure it, data in the Monita research base might point us to their location and how we may be able to help them. We shall take every measure, no matter how few our numbers may be. Ito, it's Driad. We're at the rift. Beginning descent. Good luck, Akita. Activity in the confinement area is about what we expected. I'll make a little noise to draw their attention. I think I saw something strange. I'll make a lap around the observation tower. What is it, Ito? Nothing. Sorry for the false alarm. Wait. Damn. How to sneak up on it. Akita. Akita. We don't get that help. Yeah. 
son of an ass. Akita, Akita. in there, cough. Service tunnel. Dogs awake.
Eight variants block two. I hope my intel is correct. You'd better be in here. I don't feel like killing any innocent people today. Not that anyone in Bokumono could even be considered innocent, hidden away so deep in the devil's ass. I'll pay you double, you piece of shit. Regis Piri was the gunner of the Cobalt King, fifth in a staff of seven. He wasn't my son's killer, but my revenge caught him up, as it did all other members of that damn crew. It took me circles to find him. The Empire cast him into Boku Mono for rape. And for all anyone cared, he could have rotted there forever. The girl he raped was an Inky named Miriam Magusa, but her racial handicap was a well-kept secret. Should it ever come to light, she'd end up in a dirty, forgotten labor camp like the rest. So far, she's dodged suspicion. Imperialists are too half-witted to look beneath the surface. She was young and tough, but more important for my purposes, she was a pilot who could be politically compromised. I needed her to help me pay that bastard back for the death of my son. Puri wormed his way into her body. I did the same with her soul. I threatened her with exposure, so she stuck by me. Thank you. 